This is chapter 2 quadratic equation. So the first part we are learning factorization. Let's try these three questions. So how we do factorization is we look at the quadratic, the power of 2, and the linear x, x power of 1. And when we try to solve this by factorization, we will open the bracket first. Alright. So to put the value of these two is depend on this x square. So how do we get x square? It's by x times x. Then to put these two value in is to look at this value. So how do we get 6? It's by 3 times 2 or maybe 6 times 1. So in this case, let's try 3 times 2. So this will enable you to get 3x and this times this will enable you to get 2x. How do you get negative 5x here? You put a negative here and a negative here will enable you to get negative 5x. Means that negative 3x minus 2x will get negative 5x. So minus and minus. But this is incorrect. Why? Because that when, they, when there's a negative here and negative here, your answer of this sign will be a positive. The yeah, answer of this sign will be a positive. So in this case, we can't use this method. So we have to review from this method again. All right. So let me erase this. OK. OK. So, so just now, to get 6, we are using 3 and 2. Now, to get 6, we have to use 6 times 1. How do we get negative 5x? This, you have 6x here, and from this, you have 1x. To get negative 5x, you use minus 6x plus 1x, you will get negative 5x. So, apply a negative here and positive here. Alright? So, in this case, positive here, negative here, you will get a negative here. So, this answer is correct. Then, you find an answer by applying these two bracket equal to 0, and we get the x answer. So, this is 2x answer. Alright, let's try the second question. So, to factorize this, First, we open the bracket, make it equal to 0. So, to put these two values, we need to look at this x squared. 1 times 1 equal to the x squared, 6x squared, 3x times 2x. You will get 6x squared. And for these two values here, we need to look at this value. So, how do we get that? We need to apply a 2 and a 5 because to get 10 is 2 times 5 or you can apply 10 <coughs> times 1. So we know that this is a 4x and we also know that this is a 15x. So how do we get a negative 11x? We use plus 4x minus 15x then you will get negative 11x. Alright? Okay, so in this case, we make them equal to each other. Let's try the second question over here. So to factorize this, first we open the bracket. Alright, so to put these two values, we need to look at 6x squared. How do we get 6x squared? We use 3x and 2x to get 6x squared. How about 10? We use 5 and 2. Alright, so we know that this is 10x and this is 6x. But then 10x and 6x, you can't get 11, so you can't apply this. 
So what we need to do is to redo from this side onward. So this is 5 and 2. Let's interchange them into 2 and 5. Alright, so this is 4x and this is 15x. Now you need to get negative 11 is to plus 4x and minus 15x. So now you will get negative 11x with plus 4x and negative 15x. So from this side, positive sign and negative sign, you will get a negative sign here. So this method is correct. Then only we continue to solve the, the, the question by factorization, making this two bracket equal to zero. So 3x equal to negative 2, x equal to negative 2 over 3. Same goes to this, 2x minus 5 equal to 0, 2x equal to 5, x equal to 5 over 2. Alright, now let's try the third question here. To factorize, always make sure that you change them into general form. Why general form means that the equation has to be a like this, a x squared plus b x plus c equal to 0. So this is general form, making sure that the equation equal to 0, then only you do the factorization. Alright, so open the bracket, make it equal to 0, this is 2x and this is x, and to get 9x, I know that I need to put 5 over here, 1 over here. This is x and this is 10x. Alright, let me adjust this. Okay, this is 10x. Alright, to get positive 9x, I use minus x plus 10x, I will get positive 9x. Alright, so positive and negative you will get a negative here so this is correct method so make the brackets equal to 0 2x equal to 1 x equal to 1 over 2 and same goes to this x plus 5 equal to 0 x equal to negative 5 so this is how you do factorization for the quadratic equation